What is going on, everybody? We are back with the Zek Code. My name is Sam Sees Ghosts. I have a big old water bottle today, and I'm also joined by my wonderful co-host, Axel K. Axel, how you going, dude? I'm doing really good. How are you? I'm good. I um, just got back from the gym, trained some legs, so I know that tomorrow I'm not going to be able to walk, but <laughs> got uh, 315, which is the heaviest I've squatted in a while, so I'm pretty happy about that. How are you doing? big squat. Yeah, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing good. I didn't go to the gym, but uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna sit down and play Hearthstone tomorrow, anyways. So uh, I can pretend like that I have some muscle soreness, just as an excuse to just play all day, all night. Well, no, you're, you're, you're growing your brain. I am. So you're gonna have a bigger I'm, brain than all of you, the YouTube comments. So th that, <laughs> you're good. That's very true. Yeah, that's very true. I'm gonna do some brain squats. Calculate all Which your is, lethals. Yeah, it's probably like Mosaki Mage or something, right? That's gonna work the brain, I think. Speaking of Mosaki Mage, this is not what we're gonna talk. We're not gonna talk about Mosaki Mage today. We'll get into what we're gonna talk about for a second. But before I even tell this story, I want to remind everybody: to leave a like here, subscribe to my channel. Mm. Axel's K's will be on the screen as well as in the description. You can also follow both of us on Twitter. It helps out a lot. Axel has a Discord, and that'll be in the description too. And it feels yes. like good to be back. So yeah, so 100 percent, man. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm really excited to talk about this expansion. But I really got to tell everybody that I've joined the dark side. I went on EU at the end of the season last month and started playing Mozaki Mage because I, I wasn't going to lose ranks on NA. I didn't have all the cards. Had a golden mill house on EU for some reason. Disenchanted that. And I played Mozaki Mage, and I kind of felt like a bad guy because I was playing against all these Bronze 10 players who had running, like, basic cards. Like, I think, like, one of them was just playing Loot Hoarder because that's all they had. And I, I was like, there's that there's that uh, gif from a World War... It's from a comedy thing. It's like these two German soldiers looking at each other during World War II, and it's like, are we the bad guys? And that's how I kind of <laughs> felt. I kind of felt that way when I was playing Mozaki Mage on uh, EU. Yeah, man, taking Mosaki Mage into my house, <laughs> my streets, beating up my kids. What? I was I was beating up literal children. I think I think that's what was happening. <laughs> yeah, man. I hope they weren't Swedish, man. You can have the other EU people. I, I don't I care. <laughs> played against a lot of people with Russian characters, and I was kind yeah. of afraid I was gonna get like someone to add me, but they didn't. Yeah. So. It was in and out. Oh, they didn't add you? It ended up uh, okay. People like, like, people in Legend on EU are crazy. Like, people add you after every single game. Yeah, they want to tell you how you got lucky, you high rolled, and then say awful things about you and your family and probably some slurs. <laughs> yeah, but, but like, here's the thing. I always get lucky, though. So it's true. Like, <laughs> I feel like I'm a pretty lucky player. Like, I high roll a lot, and you can see it in my videos. So, I don't know. A little... They're right. <laughs> the the uh, YouTube gods of Harson are like, Axel needs content. We're just going to high roll and make it look good. Right. Yeah, man. <laughs> but good, yeah. this video is not about me bullying literal children on EU with Mozaki <laughs> Mage. This is about the recent expansion, Fractured and Alterec. Did I say that right? Alterec Valley? Yeah, Alterec Valley. Okay. And I think... Axe and I are both really enjoying this expansion. Yeah, for sure. Um, so we when we've done this before, we've kind of gone down a list of decks. I kept Axel up late, late past his bedtime last time, so we're not going <laughs> to do that. We're just going to kind of talk about what we've seen, what we've been playing, and kind of like what we think is going to happen. And as always, we're thinking what's going to happen. That doesn't mean it is going to happen. Um, no. But we can make educated guesses about meta trends and then in a week and a half we're gonna be called you're done we're gonna be called stupid because we got it all wrong so <laughs> let's i'm gonna get, get lucky it. on this one too i feel it i feel that one of my things i'm gonna say is gonna be correct okay really nice so let's start, let's with, start off let's start with no, you okay. i want to start with you oh. you we always start with me i want to start with you this time all right what have you been playing start with me what have you been playing what's so main mainly I've been playing um, Quest, like Quest Hunter. There's an updated version of it. It's not the one with the new hero, 
but it's the one with the new spring the trap so it's like um it's a it's a spell that deals three and if you honor kill something which means that you just kill it exactly you'll um rip out two traps from your or two secrets from your deck which is just really good because it's, it's it, two it, hmm? it's two like i don't i don't know i haven't seen the card but it's yeah. two secrets. So that's it, that's nuts yeah, but that's just if you honor kill. If yeah. you don't, you only get to rip out one. Oh, so it's a it's a bit like um, I, I think of it in the same way as kind of sort of the fallen. You know, it's it's good because you it's very disruptive and you draw through your deck and dealing damage will also progress mm. your quest, right? Yep. And especially if so, if every step of the quest needs uh, like you have to deal damage twice, right? That's it. Yes. So if you hit your opponent's minion with this, you deal damage once, you pull a uh, explosive trap, and they attack into it. That's one whole step with only one card, like, that you paid for, I guess. Which yeah. is pretty, like, uh, it's pretty insane. I saw this card, like, in reveals, and I just thought it was deal three damage, but if it was honor kill, it was only, it was only one secret, but two secrets is kind of nuts. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's really good. Uh, and... But yeah, so I've been I've been having a ton of fun with that. It's uh, I feel like it's a hidden gem. I I really think that it's one of the better decks in the meta because it's really good against very aggressive decks like um, like Face Hunter, and it's also really good against greedy decks like uh, the new Owl TK Warlock. Because well... I think you're favored against both. So before we get into more of that deck, how do you find Ice Trap? I'm looking at it right now. That card is bonkers. So it's not as good as I thought. That's pretty much it. Like, I only run one of them in the list that I'm running. Um, the thing is, like, people will just kind of... They, they will just proc it with, uh, with a sheep spell. Yeah. So it's going to be something like a Renew, or maybe a Secret Passage, or... I mean, Secret Passage is always good if you can disrupt it to make it cost a little, but still, like, it's very easy to play around it. It's it's not as difficult as you would think. Like, you could use a Noble Steed instead of um, Liberum of Hope, right? Yep. And, and they get the spell back, too, so it isn't a... It disrupts the turn, but not the spell itself, so it's not a counter spell, it's not Oh My Yogg... They get the secret. They get the spell back. Yeah. However, what's really good is when you get like when you discover multiple of them from like Rindling's rifle and stuff. You can really Ooh. like hold down your opponent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Rindling's rifle. I forgot Rindling's rifle was. Yeah, I kind of forget it's good. a card, and then like it, then I see it um, played, and I'm like, I don't like this. It, it, it's funny. Like Rindling's rifle is one of those. Uh, those uh, cards that I always get questions about, like, do you have to uh, to craft this? Yeah. Like, so, since like the dawn of my channel, that <laughs> has been like the number one question on every on every hunter video, and I, like, it's like one of the best cards in the deck. It's it, like super super it, good. It's even good in just face hunter because it's yes, it kills a minion. It def you, sometimes it kills a minion, but it can kill a minion. It sets up a secret, which yep. is good. Like discovering a secret for the the moment that you need it's very good and then i mean it sucks that it's a legendary because you gotta spend 600 dust or open it but it's just a good card yeah mine is golden baby it, is your whole hunter golden yes they're they gonna, are they're not, gonna nerf uh, something <laughs> if you do yeah, that not... so the older version of face hunter is uh is golden not the new one with buffs because i don't think it's i i think it's better but i don't think it's as fun it is the other one it, it's like I, I heard it described as a like green paladin yeah exactly how i feel about it but yeah that's the main deck that i've been jamming the um, quest hunter but um i've also played a lot of demon hunter How's Demon Hunter? Because uh, I haven't seen a lot of Demon Hunters, except for Day 1. Day 1, Demon Hunter was kind of there, a lot of token, and then I've seen, like, one Demon Hunter since. Yeah, so the first, the absolute first thing I did, so I went to uh, Vision Syndicate, and I looked up that, I think it was, like, 50, 50 decks you should play on Day 1 or something. Yep. It's an article about it, and I just copied a bunch of decks, and the first one I did was their aggro demon hunter like it it wasn't even it wasn't even token right it was aggro 
So with, um, with Drekthar? Yeah, uh, I think Drekthar might have been there. I know that uh, what's it called? The uh, just a normal like whatever fiend, fell fiend or whatever yeah, he's called, like gain one attack. Yeah, 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 yeah. battle fiend. Yeah, he was in there. It, it was like a cool deck, and mm -hmm. it also it was also kind of based around uh, uh, getting Curtis Demon Render down with the expendable performers and. Uh, What's she called? Make, uh, make your hero cost zero. Hero uh, power cost zero. Fellfire Deadeye. Yeah, exactly. It, it was kind of based around that. And I played it. It didn't go very well. I kept on pushing. And then I got my booty kicked <laughs> by Zedalot on stream. And I was like, I'm not. That... I, I'm not going to embarrass myself by playing this anymore. So I switched <laughs> to uh, Token, which went significantly better. Token, the... A lot of decks I've seen, I'm looking at the Vicious Syndicate one, like has Parade Leader in it, and like whenever you summon a rush thing, it's yes. really, it has three attack. That's really yeah. good. Um, it's really good. And like, then you get a giant down. I yeah. This deck I think is like very close to being there. I'm just not sure what it's missing because I have, like it's I haven't seen it at all except for like Draco Cat playing it because he always plays his Demon Hunter. Yeah, like with um, the token list, right? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's almost there, and I, like, I don't even, I can't really pinpoint what the problem is, right? It's, it's, sh I feel like it should be better than it is. You know, you you have those Feast of Souls that will let you draw a bunch. Mm -hmm. You have Skull, uh, which is a good card. Yeah, Flag Runner is amazing because it's so hard to remove, like, uh... It's a three with six health, which means that like nothing, no removal on turn four will kill it. Right. So you can just drop it on turn three, and you're just you're kind of good, right? Especially if you have a big board, and they still go for for the board clear, right? Oh yeah. And like... yeah, but however, sometimes when it comes to like the parade leader, sometimes you don't want your minions to deal more damage. Like if if uh, you just want to kill off your expendable performers. Uh, to to just gain a bunch of um, attack damage with Kurtris. Like, you don't want to kill your opponent's board too quickly, right? Yeah, I, I'm looking at the list, Elite Vicious Syndicate's list. It just doesn't have a strong early game. Like, there's no turn one play that's good. Mm. Yeah, I think they, they run the weapon, right? They have two studies and one Tusk Piercer, and that's it. So unless you yeah, get Tusk like... Piercer into Battle Battleborn Ban Vanguard, you don't really yeah. have a strong opening until turn... Until maybe Ram Commander or Sigil of Summoning, not to like turn three or four. So I think it's just missing the early game right now, which makes yeah. sense. But yeah, yeah, definitely. Like Felfire, you can't drop your Felfire Deadeye either because this deck is so it's so based on on the OTK, right? Yeah. You so need, you, uh, you can't really afford to throw it away. Yeah. Huh. I, I, I and, think that yeah. the deck is boring, but I think that like it's just a standard Death Rattle Demon Hunter is probably pretty good right now. No, so yeah, I I played Death Rattle Demon Hunter a lot, and it's uh, it's my favorite version of uh, Demon Hunter right now. Uh, however, I do run some new cards. I run uh, Battle Worn Vanguard. Yep. I run. Uh, let's see. Of course, I run Felfire Deadeye and the OTK package with expendable performers and the Urzul Giant and also Piggy Bank Imp. How's which Piggy is Bank just, Imp? It, it's, it's good. Like, four, four attack, you get through a lot, especially when uh, your opponent starts summoning, like, Stags, Frost Stags or whatever they're called mm -hmm. and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And there's also another card which I really, really love. It's uh, Flanking Maneuver. Maneuver. Oh, yeah, Maneuver. yeah, yeah. Maneuver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> summon a 4-2 Demon with Rush. If it dies this turn, summon another. Oof. That's a really Syndrice good card. Syndrice is very well with the Giant. Yes. Good. Yes. How you just often, go through somebody's board. How often are you getting Giant down in that deck? Every game. And, um, like, if I... So, I, I need to hit some draw, right? Yes. Uh, and by draw, I mean anything that... It could be a Skull of Gul'dan, it could be a, um, a Death Speaker Blackthorn to just kind of shed a bunch of minions from your deck. Of course, Tusk Piercer. It's basically it. And um, it's pretty cool, like Urzul Giant. You can... Um, what I do a lot is, uh, with my Illidari Studies, I, I go for um, uh, 
uh, what's this called? Like Copia Demon? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah, philosophy. Yes, philosophy. Yeah, philosophy. I go for philosophy, and then I jump, uh, drop like three of them in one turn. Dun, dun, dun. It's pretty cool. Wait, um, what? Are you, what are you, sorry, what are you copying with that? Uh, the Urzel Giant. Oh the, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Yeah. I forgot he's. A, I forgot it's a really demon. Yeah, it's really good. Um, you can do that, and they get powered up a little bit. But this deck is uh, it's more aggressive mm -hmm. than the older. Uh, it, it's like, well, it doesn't run Illidari Inquisitors anymore, so I guess it's not aggressive on that front, but still, like, it feels a bit more aggressive since you don't run, like, the the pig with taunt that will give you four mm. HP back when he dies and stuff. Like, I think it shed a lot of kind of bad death rattle cards, or, like, not the, as useful. Yeah, the the when I was playing Death Rattle Demon Hunter, when I was talking to um, my THL captain... We're kind of like the pig, the Death's Head Cultist is kind of like the worst card in that deck. And yeah. Rattle, Fell Rattler is good if you're in an aggressive meta, but if you're not, it's mm. not that useful. And then also no, because it's... mages are much, much um, less popular now because of the nerfs, um, you don't really need the Far Watch posts and the Called no. Neophytes anymore. So, uh, Exactly. And also like... Um... Yeah, uh, a lot of the, so, the just just having death rattle cards yeah. and the way you have death rattle cards in this deck synergizes very well with all of the new cards, right? Mm -hmm. Because your death rattle, the 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 kind of death rattles you play in this is like, summon another minion, right? It's basically all of them. Yeah. So renowned performer will summon two of them. Persistent peddler will rip out another peddler. Your uh, racer fan cards will. Pull out new cards and yeah. yeah, piggyback imp and devouring ectoplasm will kind of spawn new minions, which works very well with the giant. And also, you tend to go very wide yes. all the time, which is just super good with um, with the new Kurtris hero power. Uh, so basically, what it does is that it uh, you you gain two you you get to click it and you gain two attack. And every time a minion attacks, you get to refresh it. Oh, I thought so, it was when a minion dies, which is much better. No. Much, much better. Yeah. Yeah. So if you like you don't really need the expendable performers. What's so good about the expendable performers is that it's gonna summon it's gonna fill your board with one once, and when they die, you get to um, it refreshes and does yeah. it again. And you don't need to get so, all seven down. You if you just get six or even like five come down, as long as those minions die it resummons. Yeah. It doesn't have to be all yeah, so, seven. Yeah, so generally, like, the um, uh, the idea is you drop the Fellfire Deadeye, which will make your hero power free. Yep. And then you uh, you play this, and then you hit your opponent for, like, 24 damage or something. Like, just from... Uh, with Kurtris, which is really good. However, if you have just played, like, you play him on... Uh, you play Kurtris on turn six. It's a six drop. And then you uh, play your Death Speaker Blackthorn on seven, and then on eight you can just hit with all those minions because they're very sticky. You're probably gonna have the opportunity to hit uh, and kind of refresh your hero power a bunch and just kill your opponent. Like you don't need to do the OTK combo. Like it's pretty easy to just set up a ton of damage with this deck. Do you? Do you? I was thinking about this. Do you remember when <laughs> Death Rattle Demon Hunter ran? Talon and Alakir. Yes. No, what? It's not Alakir. It's that. It's that Phoenix no, not... thing, right? Uh, Alar. Alar. Right. Alar. Uh, yeah. 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 My, yeah. my, how far we have come since that was the best thing to do in Death Rattle Demon Hunter. <laughs> yeah, but, but I can, so I kind of like that this deck. I think this is kind of the perfect representation of what I think an end game expansion deck yes. should be. It's like this deck that has been with us from Barons uh, that we could kind of play and watch it get refined for the entire year and now we have the finished product, which I, feels very exciting I was to me. thinking about that today about Libra and Paladin. Um, yeah. I think this is a good transition point unless there's another deck you do want to talk about or we can come back to it. Uh, this is it for me. Like this is uh, These are the decks that I've been jamming a lot. And... Yeah. Another, I, I could take one, just 
super quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for um, it. There's, a, there's like uh, an aggressive beast druid that I've been playing. Does, That's really cool. Does that run like Drek'thar in it too? Or is it that? No, because it can't. No. Because it has the discounted beast that discounts itself. Yeah. So the problem with this is that it's getting, um, it's getting kind of uh, overshadowed by the Drek'thar, which seems to be better. Yes. Well, um, I want to talk about that also but we'll get into it when we talk about the meta a little bit more because i have thoughts on drekthar okay but yeah so basically this is just imagine a uh, taunt uh, a taunt druid without the taunt but with beasts instead like uh, you still run oracle of elune and you have yeah. this card that's um it's a four or five with taunt that will cost one less for each beast you've summoned this game yep uh, and then you have this, um, this I don't know what what the spell is called or what the type of spell is called, but it's those like field spells that will yeah, tick the, every turn. Yeah, the, the Frostwolf Kennels that summons yeah. a 2-2 two -two with stealth at the end of your turn. Yeah, so those three will reduce the cost of your um, Frost Saber Matriarch. Yep, and because it has and, taunt, so will Battle Guard. Yeah, and then you pair it with... Um, your Oracle of Elune, and then you get a bunch of them, and it's really good. And then you can finish the game with an Arbor. It's a lot of fun. You also have some some like bloodlust ish burst with this. Yep. You have Heart of the Wild, give a minion two plus two, then Ooh. give your beasts one plus one. Are you running Claw Fury Adept also? Adept also? Uh, yes. It's uh, the art is so good, so it's... you have to. <laughs> and you can you can pretty much drop that, yeah, and just uh, buff all your minions and hit. And also kind of Shando Wild Claw, it's a legendary. You... Give be uh, choose one, give beast in your deck plus one plus one, or transfer into a copy of a friendly beast. Very good. So you're playing worse Keleseth in this deck. Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. It's not too exciting. It's just very cool if you're into like yeah, tribe decks. Like yeah. uh, I really like Elemental Shaman and stuff well, like that. So what, what you're doing is you're playing Battlegrounds just in standard. That's all you're doing. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, but yeah, that was fun. But that's kind of all I've been jamming. I'm going to try uh, Libra Paladin for sure. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow. So that kind of leads me into what I've been playing. Um, I've been boring. I have not played many new decks. I I didn't get a pre-order this time again. So I was kind of like, you know, let's see what card. I had Libra Paladin built because it's just been around. It's always been pretty good. Um, and I looked at the Vicious Syndicate list, which, and just crafted the cards I needed. Basically, it was Carriel and Defend the Bridge. They ran the new Legendary, whose name I'm forgetting right now. Uh, the Paladin. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to look him up real quick. I didn't have him or enough dust to craft him. It's uh, Saiden the Scarlet, I believe is his name. Yeah, the buff guard, right? Yes. But I just ran Barov, which is just, I think, was the correct answer anyways. Uh, I think so too. And then it runs Trogs because Trogs are busted. <laughs> yeah. Um, but Carriel is such a good card. I st I don't use deck tracker, so I don't track my win loss. But last time when I was kind of counting my games, I was like 31 and 16 or something. It was a very high win rate. Um, and I've been consistently in top 1K since the expansion. Nice which is that's feel, absolutely huge man. it's it feels great um oh it also added a stone hearth vindicator which is just a good draw a card and play it it's so good man. um the amount of draw paladin have now yeah remember when paladin had no draw and now we have yeah. so much draw it's so and it's, it's it's all um targeted draw too like knight of atonement draws a holy spell uh stone yeah. hearth vindicator draws a spell that costs three or less um and then, well, then um, Hand of a Doll just draws a card. Yeah. But it's just... And, of course, oh, yeah, Varian, yeah. King of Stormwind, draw you a bunch of cards. He draw And usually, because it will, it will draw usually at least one Divine Pupil, and then you yeah. can just probably play at least one when you play him also. It's so good. Like, it's just... It's, yeah. it's such a... It, and this is kind of what I was getting at um, when you said... It's cool to see how Death Rattle Demon Hunter has grown. This kind of feels like Libram Paladin has hit its ultimate power level, you know? Yeah. It's Finally, right? It, it, well, I mean, like, you see, so it started off in Ashes, which was 
six expansions ago and you saw it like oh and then it got good in Skullamance and then it kind of took a backseat in Dark Moon for a bit um but then Secret Libram came out and then they got nerfed and then it was <laughs> it, the end of um Stormwind it was good like Librams were good and now like you get yeah. the end result of it all which is a very tempo oriented deck with a lot of defense you play Librams of Hope which we by now if you don't know that's a good card I don't know what to tell you. If you... <laughs> but Cariel carries that deck. Um, there are so many decks that it just kind of solos. Pirate Warrior, yeah. Face Hunter. Because then Face Hunter's Hero Power does one damage. Yeah. That's bonkers. Um, even Garot Rogue can't kill a Paladin from full health anymore. And that's so juicy. Um, and I do think it... I, I just... I've really just... It's just a deck that I've kind of clicked with. It's not as controlly as... The Stormwind, which ran um, City Taxes or Libram yeah. of Wisdom, the one that the Libram that discounts your no, not discounts, um, sets opponent's health to one. Yeah, but it's just it's just good, and Samoru is just a really good card. Also, I don't know, I'm having a lot of fun with the deck, but it's not like new and flashy, right? It's just kind of like it's Libram's here they are, and they're gonna kill you because eight eights are good. Well, it's it's not a new and flashy deck in yeah. a way, but for the very seasoned players, they're gonna know that the strategy yeah, I mean... of this deck has changed. If you look at the drawn win rate, you're gonna see that it's the aggressive cards that have the highest drawn win rate instead it, of the what, defensive cards. What is cards the now. highest drawn card and win rate card? Of course, <laughs> it's Cariel. Is right? it? I thought it would be Trog. Yes. I thought it'd be Trog. No. <laughs> But it's uh, it's up there. Then you have um, then you have Libra of Wisdom, of course. Yep. Get that buff. Devout Pupil follows that, of course. Like you kind of see them together, right? Yes. They have Hand of a Doll. Then you have the Trog. Then you have Elder Attendant, and then uh, Small Carriel, right? Yeah. Small Carriel is so, so see... good too. Yeah. Trade a minion. Definitely. Discount your spells. It's just good. But what this is is basically like if you look at the lowest uh drawn win rate we have uh lord barrow lady liadrin animated broomstick and librum of hope well yeah i you don't want those in the early game anymore i mean we didn't want them in the first place but like no but but this is not like the mulligan win rate this is just a drawn win rate oh really yes and if you look at played it's pretty it's pretty similar yeah i mean and it's just very like it's very interesting that the um the like kind of the best cards uh nowadays are the aggressive and kind of uh, uh initiate focused cards yeah i mean it's a, it's a deck that you want to be able to put pressure on the opponent i don't want i want to play yeah. a one three that does something i want to i want my four sixes not to be defensive i want them to make my opponent trade lose their board so i can keep pushing my game plan and that's kind of how the deck feels now it kind of feels like the earl the if you get your discounts and drop a leader of hope on five or six what can your opponent yeah. do with that yeah they're gonna waste uh, all their resources then you're gonna do it again and they're gonna lose yeah so it's very exciting for me at least to see how this deck has turned very aggressive it's supposed to yeah, uh, I, 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 wouldn't, I don't think it's aggressive i think it is i think you're right it's an initiative focused deck I don't yeah. want to wait till turn five to start playing minions, like what happens sometimes when you draw your heavy cards. I want to be able to like continually oh. just put out minions, threats, <laughs> and then my opponent deals with them. They start running out of their resources. I keep playing my threats. Then I get them all back with Leandrin. Yeah. But no, the deck is the deck is fun. It's a it, it's a deck that clicks with me. And I think I said in a podcast earlier this year that Le playing against Librams and playing Librams is like one of the most boring things. And I don't think that anymore. Um, I do think that in the past it was kind of boring because like your opponent, oh, my opponent played a four or five taunt. I have to get through it. And then, oh, they did it again. But now I'm doing it and I'm winning. So it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm winning. But no, I, I agree. Like, um, no, I, th I think it's fun. I always... Uh really like Libram Paladin. Yeah. I like the theme of it, everything. I think, uh, especially like, you feel so big brain when you've counted your Librams and you have like one pleb out on the board and you drop Liadrin and uh, you can like 
Um, you can wisdom it just to lethal. Just bum, 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 bum. Want well, to know what yeah. the real thing that killed an opponent once was? What? We're going to talk about this card later a bit more. <laughs> Trog. So Trog yes. is good. Well, I'm not going to talk about <laughs> Trog right now. But if you stick a Trog with a Noble Steed and your opponent yeah. can't deal with it right away, my opponent... And then I played like a Libram of Wisdom on it. And then my opponent had played like four or five. Like I had five horses at the end of this. Which. Yeah. And then I had a whole bunch of Libram's in my hand. My opponent was a 10. And I had exact lethal. Because I was just Libram, 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 face. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you If you stick a Libram on a Trog, you're going to get back more yes. later. Yep. yep. What? Yep. That's so cool. And also Whoa. if you stick the horse on it get they all summon a horse yeah yeah yeah, of course but man it's so good it's really cool that you can get those wisdoms back it's so good it's so stupid (laughs) oh i didn't even think about it um but i haven't played other decks i know that uh norwis got to rank one legend with doomhammer shaman it runs bolner it runs the two new elementals um who i'm free of the names of right now um, Snowfall Giant and Sleet Breaker. It cuts mm. a Rana, and then you kind of just. It's really a deck that you play Bolner, you discount your minions, you repeat battle cries with the Parrot, and you kind of go wide on board. You get a good board going, then Doomhammer is there to get you over the top, usually. Like, it's good. Um, I think it's kind of falling out of favor just because there's a lot. I think. The reason it was rank one is because at High Legend, it's a lot more like Mozaki. There's a lot more um, Owl Warlock. Um, Garot Rogue's probably still good. And stuff like yeah. that where Doomhammer can really thrive because sending 10 damage phase consistently is really good. So I think I, I that was the first time I fell out of top 1k. I fell down like 1,200. Then I got back with Librams because Librams are good. But... I think the deck is good. I don't think it's refined, but also because people are running Vipers now, uh, it's harder yeah, to it's get not, over the top. Yeah, it's not Doom Hammer days. It's not. No. I'm so sad. I love Doom Hammer. Love I, it. Me too. Me too. I like it. It's good. But yeah, like I've been boring. I haven't played a ton of new decks. Those are the new decks, but I've played a ton of Librams. I'm probably close to 75 games at least. I'm four games away from a golden Paladin hero, so it's good. Like it, oh. The Paladin, the, it's just... It's a good deck. Like, play is it the, the golden? Is it the golden or the one k? No, it's the golden. I have only gotten Demon Hunter and Warlock to one k. Um, I have Hunter and Paladin, so I think we have. I think we have similar amounts of games. Played. Yeah, I when I started, I only, I only played Warlock for like two years. Um, Ooh. but then Rogue was really good, so I played some Rogue. I just love Demon Hunter, especially like the attack based Demon Hunter. Yeah, and then yeah, me too. Warrior and Shaman. I when Elemental Shaman and Doomhammer Shaman were good. That's when I like in Barons. I played that a lot and got it to five hundred. And then I got there with Rush Warrior with had Watch Posts, and then Priest last month with Shadow Priest because I played the hell out of that deck. Yeah, I did my five hundred uh, with uh, Shadow Priest as so, well. Those games are so, were so quick. It was like I, I like yeah. looked at my thing. I was like, oh, it's three oh two. Looked at it like. Two days later, and it was like, oh, I'm at 406 right now. <laughs> yeah, it was bonkers. back in the day, like back in the day in the second expansion ever, like Black Rock or whatever it was called. Uh huh. I think, um, I think, like I played my most played like deck was Dragon Priest back then. Oh. I think it was. It, it might have been in uh, in another expansion, like uh, the tournament one. I don't remember. It was oh, yeah. like a hundred years ago. <laughs> But there was like a really cool Dragon Priest list that I used to run, which was mm. like kind of mid-ranged. Well, if you ask anybody, they'll say it's an aggro deck because that's just how discussion <laughs> of Hearthstone is online. Um, but do you want to get into that? It, let's. They'll say that for next episode. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so I've been kind of boring. Like I said, didn't get a pre-order. I'm building decks for THL, so I think next week or next time we record, I'll have more stuff to talk about. But. What have you seen on ladder? I want to talk about that. I want to talk about what we've seen on ladder and then talk about where we think the meta is going. We have to talk about the main one, right? Yeah. The Owl TK. Yup. You know, it's funny because I think like two days ago or maybe it was yesterday. I don't remember. 
I message Sam like, I've never been owled. And then I go home and I get owled. Getting, and, getting owled is like yeah. the most least fun experience ever. It's not fun. So basically what it's based around, it, it's... It's a warlock deck that just want to draw its entire deck, yep. and um, afterwards you play this big owl creature that has a death rattle effect that says deal eight damage to to some to something on your opponent's board. It yeah. could be face, it could be a minion, and then you you kill it off by yourself, and then you summon like you fill your board with imps, and then you use another card like Tamsin's perfume or you, something. You need, I don't remember you, you what it's called. You usually need to play, yeah. You need to play Tamsin and Tamsin's Philactrophy, probably yeah. incorrect. And then you copy it because it's a shadow spell. And then you play, so you get it doubled. You can deal a max total of 112 damage, which is disgusting. Um, yeah. And then you school spirits, kill your board, kill your opponent's board, and kill them. Yeah. So what you do, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You 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 make it so that uh, the owl effect hits all of your imps on your board that are one ones. Yeah. So anything will kill it off, and they then you just die as your opponent, and you are kind of you don't know what happened, and you don't understand why your mutant is hit on Moarg instead of the owl. <laughs> I was I was watching my friend. I think it was flying kraken. He played a mutinous and he hit the owl, and it was like, yep. Can't win now. Yeah. But uh, no, I think I, that deck is like I really dislike playing against combo decks. I know that's not like a controversial statement. A lot of people don't. We had that whole discussion about Quest Mage and Garot Rogue. I think it's just boring to watch your opponent draw mm. their cards and you just play a minion and pass. Like yeah. I think that's mm. so boring. Um, yeah. But I mean, the deck is hard to play. It's not an easy deck. I was watching, I was spectating my friend Askew playing it. And it's not an easy deck, and it's the mirrors are weird. It's you have to kind of, it's not. It's a control. You have control tools, but you have to space them out. If your opponent can put on pressure after pressure after pressure, you can't clear the board. You can't heal enough. You're gonna lose. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, but but it's it's like that with the combo decks. Like I know everybody kind of kind of hates on them but they they usually take a lot of skill to play actually they like do skill stone like garot yeah. was such a high skill cap deck and like i never played it because like i was like i don't want to take the time to learn this deck but it's there but i think i lock i don't think i'll lock is probably as hard to play but i definitely don't think anyone can just pick it up and be like oh, i'm gonna get to legend or top 2k with top 200 with it whatever it's a hard deck to play it's not easy no oh. Uh, yeah, I haven't tried it yet. Of course, uh, pe people want nerfs already. I I haven't seen people talk too much about it the last couple of days. But yeah, like the, the first two days. Well, I, yeah, it was it's, it's the a talk of the town. It's a feel bad thing, right? Like oh, I new expansion. I think it's kind of like a feel. It feels bad because like last expansion was pretty combo heavy, and then like yeah. a new deck which had a pretty high win rate day one came out and was a combo deck, and like I don't like this. This isn't fun. But I think yeah, I think out of all the expansions this year, Barons, um, Stormwind, and this, this is a pretty balanced meta. Yeah, it's uh, it feels it feels good. It feels it pretty interesting. There are a couple of things that I don't like, and it's uh, that they are kind of um, pushing a little bit too much on random again. Which is like yeah. generate random cards. I... You know, you have the um, Burgle Rogue. Um, which has some really, really cool interactions. But, uh, of course, I'm not crazy about uh, random generation. Yeah, I mean, this it we the last expansion, Stormwind, again, was pretty combo-heavy. Games didn't last very long. I've taken games no. to fatigue, and there's a bunch of value decks. Like, Burgle Rogue is a value deck. That Death Rattle Big Priest is a value deck. They're yeah. Free Shaman, OTK Shaman, both value decks. And it's great that those are back but i do agree when burgle rogue is out valleying me with like random death rattles and i'm like well, i don't know how to win it that does get yeah. frustrating but, but like it's uh the, the way i see it even if there are a couple of things that i dislike it's gonna it's gonna teach me something new yeah, right and i i so. think that this meta is just good i don't think there's a lot of outliers even if there's something we as players don't love like the random stuff 
I'm not a big fan of. Um, I think it's still. I think this is probably the best launch. Yeah. Since before Ashes, since probably Old Doom. I I don't think. I think there's stuff that are outliers that need to be addressed and will be addressed after Worlds. But I don't think it's offensive. I don't think it's terribly offensive. I should say. Oh, I I totally agree. Like I, I'm I'm super I'm super fine with it. Then I'm having a ton of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the um the thing is like I've lost more than I won in this expansion. I think I have not. So, so I feel good about that. If if I say if if I say something negative about the meta, <laughs> it's because I'm a cry a crybaby, right? Right. Uh, what like one hundred percent? Then I I really I I can stand by that because um uh when as as with Stormwind, like I know that. It's probably the least liked expansion, like of yeah. all times. I know how much people hate it. But Reddit, Reddit did not like I, that expansion. No, uh, and but I feel like if you set it out, if you quit the game, or if you took a break, I mean, it's good for you, I guess. But if you wanted to um, kind of improve as a player, I think Stormwind was probably one of the best expansions ever made uh, because you got to practice like perfect execution and. Uh, a lot of things that uh, that you aren't going to be able to to kind of practice right. in uh, other expansions down the line. So I'm super happy that I played as much as I did in Stormwind, even though it wasn't my favorite expansion. Let's get away from meta discussions for a second, or else we're going to go down a rabbit hole that is going to make us take the next four hours to talk about. <laughs> what do yeah, you yeah, What do course. you think of Owlock? Like, how much of it are you seeing? Is it as good as people are saying it is? Let's talk about that, and then we'll move on to a different deck. Yeah, so second day, I, I saw, like, I think 60% of my games were against Aulox. Okay. Uh, that's when I switched to... Um, uh, th that's when I started playing the Quest Hunter, because you just win. And so I didn't have a problem with it. I didn't get to see the combo, even. Uh, I think I played, like, 13 games or something against Warlock without them ever pulling out the combo against me. Mm-hmm. So I think like it's very preventable. Uh, the problem with exactly that deck, like with LTK lock, is that uh, you get the kind of like the the strategy you utilize against it is uh, is the exact same as um, what you did against Quest Mage, which was like the most hated deck in the last expansion. Yes. Is that Deal damage to their face. Don't play any minions because they're gonna heal on on um, your minions. Yeah, the, so. the difference I think between Owl and Quest Mage is that Warlock has healing. Uh, Mage yeah. has so they don't. Mage couldn't heal unless you hit their face with a minion. Owl oh, Owl's like I can play my own minion, heal for four, three, um, or six, and then yeah. they also have both decks have a lot of draw. But I'll, I feel like Owlock discounts their draw. I feel like Rod is strangely more offensive than Encanter's Flow was. Yeah. I Yeah. It, it's like, it, it's up there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I, I don't think, like, if we want kind of peace, <laughs> peace in the Hearthstone streets, nerf this deck. But on a, like, on a very personal level, I don't really mind it. Mm. I think there are ways to play around it. Yeah. But, and... But I, I don't think that's the way people want to play Hearthstone, no. and I'm totally cool with that. And I totally accept if that's the way you're feeling, like, I, super valid. I think I, I think they will nerf this deck. We'll talk about that later. Uh, I think my big thing is when I see... A, like, this happened to me with Mage last expansion. When I saw a Mage and 99.9% of the time they played the quest, my brain kind of turned off because, like, okay, well, I know how to <laughs> win this. It's going to be really boring. This one, it started to feel kind of similar where I just like roll my eyes. I'm like, okay, let's hope I get Trog and it sticks, or else I'm not gonna. I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have a much harder time winning. But I don't. I don't think the deck is that offensive. I think it is offensive, but I don't think it is the worst thing in Hearthstone. If that's like the worst thing in this meta, I think the meta is pretty good to be honest. Yeah, I agree. But all is scary. But we did talk about another deck. Burgle Rogue. Mm -hmm. I think there's kind of like three, uh, two, this and another another deck I want to talk about. And then we'll talk about where we think the meta is headed and what we kind of hope for. But Burgle Rogue. Yeah. Seen a lot of this yeah. deck. Um, just want to give you guys a tip. If your opponent 
is a has a golden border around their hero, but their hero power is not golden. <gasps> they are they are a rogue. Oh, I didn't know. Uh, my my friend Goofy Ronak posted that on Twitter, and every time it happens now, I know. Hack Ronak. <laughs> uh, that's super good. Yeah. Um, Whoa, I I didn't know. Yeah, I, so I didn't good. either. But every time I see a class, now, I just look. And like a like a deck I don't see a lot of. Like if I see a priest, I like look. If I see a demon hunter, I look. If I see a yeah. warrior, it might be it might be. So I always kinda look. And then That's so funny. So what's Burglar Rogue about? So Burglar Rogue, they printed a bunch of new cards that interact with you having cards not from your class in your hand. I'm just scrolling down on the Hearthstone wiki to kind of find them. So like Cards like Double Agent, which is a 3-3. Three, three. If you're holding a card from another hand, your class in your hand, you summon a copy of it, so you get two 3-3s. Three, you have Wild Paw and Noel, which costs, is a 5-mana 4-5 that costs le- one less for each card from your class in your hand, a different class in your hand. Um, and also, some of them are running um, Reconnaissance, which summons a Death Rattle from another class, so you can get like Rattle Gore or Graybow. And then some of them have the value of Contraband Stash, which plays five cards from another class you played this game. It's really good, yeah. especially if you get a Grey Bow, because then it just plays a second Grey Bow. Um, but it's all about getting value through other cards. And I think the difference between this Burgle Rogue and previous Burgle Rogues are is that previous Burgle effects, the, the card quality was lower. But now mm. card quality is pretty high, especially... If it's targeted like Death Rattle, so then you're able to play a bunch of high quality cards, outvalue your opponents, and then some of them are even running uh, Hanarf. So you play your secrets, uh, yeah. which are draw. You can get cards from your opponent's class with plagiarize, or you can disrupt their minions with the with ambush, and then you just create more secrets. And it's really annoying, yeah. and I cannot that. That's a card I want to... I cannot wait till it rotates out as Hanar. Hanar is probably my the most annoying card. Well, he's he has, like, the top 10 best arts in the game. I think it's so cool. Yeah. Draenei Rogue? That's insane. That's fine. Great artwork. Annoying card. <laughs> yeah. And, of course, the deck runs the new hero, uh, the new Scab's hero. Yeah. Um, there was a reason why Vanish got Hall of Famed. Um it's a really good card. It when wow. you play it, it returns all minions to your opponent, all minions to the owner's hand, and then summons two four twos, and then it has a zero mana hero power, which discounts the next card you play by two. Card is you really really oh. good. Um, yeah. So, uh, th- so obviously, like this this deck runs uh, Maestra of the Masquerade, yes, my... like a lot of them do, which is very interesting. Some. Yeah. Yeah. So I want. We'll talk about Maestro. I'm gonna play this deck, but I'm not gonna craft Maestro because I'm playing it for THL, and because mm. THL follows competitive rules, Maestro is not allowed to be played. Oh, she's not even allowed to be played. No. So I'm not gonna spend okay. 1600 us to do that. But what it does do is because you are a different class, say you're a druid, all your road cards discount your gnaw, your null, and I think if you play a double agent it summons a copy and then you are revealed don't quote me on that but i think that's how that works yes that is how it works um and i i think I, i've been watching a lot of uh jay alexander playing this yep. uh, so yeah like i watched like 30 games or something of this and it's uh it's really interesting right it's super cool that you actually are the hero that you start as so what you want to be is like a demon hunter, so mm-hmm. you can press your hero power on turn one, which is really good. Uh, your worst card to become... Like, I've seen that some people turn into rogues. I think that's a but, bug, and I think that'll yeah. be fixed. So, uh, except for, of course, rogue. Uh, then the worst class to be is uh, mage, because you run one thief in your deck. So, you oh. want to become anything except uh, mage Should... or... Uh, also, if you rogue, you okay. have that tradable weapon, the two two, if you trade that and don't play it, you don't yep. you you reveal that you're a rogue to your opponent, but you don't become a rogue, so you still get the discounts going. Yeah. So yeah, you can trade your uh, Blackwater Cutlass yep. or whatever. Yep. Uh, because uh, yep, 
and they they kind of I think they stated it somewhere that uh, trading is not playing, yes. so it won't um, so it won't uh, start a combo for you either. Also, something that I've seen a ton of people make a mistake with is that for some reason when they play scabs and the and they play scabs hero power, they think that the hero power com uh, counts as like a combo starter, which no, it doesn't. It does not. But I've just seen a lot of people do that, which is interesting. It's just funny. Yeah, I, I like this deck, and I, I'm going to play this deck, because this is a rogue deck I really like to play. I really like Seeker Rogue when it was in, uh, back in Skullamance. It's the first deck I ever hit Legend with. Um, mm. So I really like this style Seeker. of deck. I really liked uh, World Kick Rogue when it was, like, combo heavy. Yeah. Um, and this kind of looks like... That was a cool generation. Yeah, it really was. And this kind of feels like that's similar to that. I don't love scabs, the hero scabs. Like, that's just... Vanish was... We put Vanish in Hall of Fame for a reason. We don't need it back. Yeah, you think it's too good? I... I well, so, like, to me, like, Rogue's... One of Rogue's weaknesses, it doesn't have a lot of healing. It doesn't have taunts. So, if your uh. opponent plays minions and pressures you... You have to kind of maneuver around that with your spells. And Scabs, to me, doesn't feel like... It feels like it breaks that weakness of just... Mm. Okay, no Death Rouse proc. We're sending minions back to hand. And we're stabilizing with two four twos, Which... Yeah. It doesn't... It feels like... It feels roguey to me. Like, it feels like a, rogue, a powerful rogue thing to do. But in terms of, like, Hearthstone playing, this doesn't feel like how I would want Rogue to deal with one of its weaknesses. Yeah, I I agree, and also I think there's kind of unless it's something like a shadow step, like yeah. a little lower card, it it's a it's a card that you're gonna run in every rogue deck, like every single rogue yeah. deck that you ever make. Uh, when this is in the meta, you're probably gonna run this. Right. And if it's a big powerful card like that that you put in every deck, there's probably a little bit of a problem. Yeah, and I mean like even like weapon rogue, which is a very polarizing deck. Like, one of its weaknesses is my opponent plays taunts. Yeah. Well, on turn seven, it doesn't matter. So. Yeah. Also, like, uh, quest, uh, quest Rogue had a bunch of bad cards in. So you can just throw out one of the bad cards and then put in the scabs. And you <laughs> For all those people still playing uh, SI7 Infiltrator, the 5-4, you can take that out of your deck. And you <laughs> yeah. should have done that a long time ago, honestly. Um, yeah. But no, one thing I do like about this deck, and we'll... And, I'm looking just at the Hearthstone wiki. Priest also. We won't get into Priest too much because I think that's still being refined. But they're value decks. Like, these games go long now. We're not dying on turn seven to Infinite Ignites anymore. It's really refreshing to see that, even if it is, like you said, random generation that I'm not... Th that I'm like, yeah, maybe tune that down a bit. But if this is the first time in, like, a year, a little less that it's come out. So I think yeah, that... It, it, like... I think it's fine. I, I just don't love... I don't love the vanish effect on scabs. Is really my big <laughs> issue with this deck. Yeah. Yeah, looks really cool. I'm actually getting excited to try it as I'm yeah. looking at the list now. I'm going to try this once I drop some money down and get some cards. Yeah. The other deck I've seen a lot of, and I know like for a long time it was a meme, Freeze Shaman. Yeah. Marabi died for this. It's the really, king. The king died for this. If you're in a while, you have a golden Marabi. Probably still don't play it because you don't need to. But the deck is really good in wild, apparently. It's also very good in standard. So, Axel, you had some thoughts about this in, like, when we started talking. What are your thoughts on this free shaman list? Yeah, so basically what it is, I didn't really look up anything about it before the expansion because I'm not... Like, before the day of the expansion, I'm not super interested in the expansion, but... So, I just heard people talk about Freeze Shaman or Freeze Shaman, like, all the time. Everybody is obsessed with the Freeze Shaman and Wind Shield. So, I, I heard about this card that would freeze a minion and draw a card, and... I thought that this would be, like, the most controlliest Shaman deck that I've ever seen. Uh, which it is pretty, pretty controlly, but it's also pretty, like... It's it's pretty aggressive, right? You get to swing. It's pretty similar to handlock in a way, right? Yeah. You get to develop big things and swing with it. That's the type of kind of control-ish deck that I want to play. And it runs tons of combos. 
and it actually runs some like burn that you can hit your opponent with uh, in the face. Does it? Oh, just... it runs Serpent Shrine, right? That it runs Serpent Shrine. Yes. Yeah. It Serpent runs Fireheart too. Yeah. So you get to kind of, I don't know. It just it seems like a ton of fun. I'm yeah. Super surprised over what this deck turned out to be. <laughs> so it's kind of it for me. So the big thing with this is that you run this card called Snowfall Guardian. Uh, what it does is it will freeze the entire, like your opponent's entire board, and you will get plus one plus one for every frozen minion, which is really good. And then, uh, yep, and then you can copy all that too with uh, Bolner. Yep, and you can do it with uh, your Macaw also. Yes. And just so you know, is, uh, I keep forgetting this every time it happens. Cheaty Snowbold is only enemy minions. Every time it happens, I'm like, okay, good. So it's going to hit my opponent too. Nope, it's just enemy minions. Oh, it is. Yes, and that is, that's rough. Because I'm like, okay, my opponent freeze, froze my board or they're playing Snowball Fight. My, the Cheaty Snowball is going to hit them too. Never does. Ah. <clears throat> but, no, like even the two, even like the new elemental, the Sleep Breaker and Windchill are just good cards. There's yeah. so much to draw on this deck. Yeah, and also Brukon. Brukon, Dr. Boom. <laughs> but no, he's he's good. He uh, He's a lot of, again, it's a value deck, but it puts on pressure. Don't call it a control deck because someone's getting mad about it, but it puts on pressure. You have Battlegrounds <laughs> Battlemaster to close the game out. And you also yeah. have that Windpaw Cavern, which summons a 3-4 that freezes. So if this hits face, your opponent cannot attack. Yeah. That's just really Super good. Super good. I've seen yeah, you just... Yeah, I've seen mm -hmm. some lists... Okay. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. I've seen some lists running the other legendary, Baron Glacier. I think that's fallen out a bit. But I have seen, like, Bad Jim Palm and uh, No Hand's first list was running that. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, the big bear. Yeah. Who just summons, bear, who summons yeah. deer. Yeah. So... Yeah, it's it's super good, man. I I really I'm intrigued. Yes. That this uh, freezes your opponent's face, which is really nice. Like I think people are gonna start going back to like pirate warrior and stuff, and it's gonna feel really good to freeze their face when they get uh, Rokara down. Hey, Axel. Yeah. You wanna know what beats pirate warrior? Uh, Cariel. Tell me. <laughs> of course. <laughs> The best hero, but oh. yeah. So like, I, I think I think this is kind of I th I think it's exciting. Like freezing so the too. face is always fun. I think, and I th it's almost yes, yeah, like you are sort of controlling the board nope, sometimes. You're not. You're a mid range deck. <laughs> you go face. Yeah. Yes, you do. But maybe it seems like it sometimes to the untrained eye. <laughs> people would think that you could maybe control the board a little bit with some windshields and stuff. So it's a lot of fun. It or it looks a lot of fun. Um, yeah, no, this looks good. I like that. I like that. There's another deck that kind of runs, that kind of creates big minions, runs battleground, battlemaster. It's it's good. I like that this is a deck. Um, yeah. And I do want to say about that pirate warrior. So my last game to legend was actually against a person named Sam. Oh. And they were playing pirate warrior. Uh, I played carry on seven. They lost, and I got a nice little friendly message saying that carry on is busted and it carried me that's why they lost i was hoping dark that dark sam dude. I would, yeah that, that's my shadow self yeah um but yeah and then quickly and then we'll get into the meta real quick and we'll wrap this up drekthar is seen a lot of play in some decks uh i know it's seen play a miracle priest and also like a guff rune totem druid i can't, one thing yeah. about this meta i've kind of noticed is that every deck like a lot of decks, not every deck. A lot of decks have, I wouldn't call them Hyrules, but they do have their Edwin, for example. Like, yeah. Quote unquote, like, oh, like, remember, like, Edwin on like two or three back back in the day? Every class kind of has that, or most classes do. I wouldn't really call it like a Hyrule deck, but it's, they definitely have very powerful turns that can come on early, which I don't think is a bad thing. But I feel no. like a lot of decks do have that. Maybe not like Shaman um, quite yet. But like priest, rogue, uh, druid, they all kind of have those yeah, little that... swing turns, or and like hunter does too. And I think that's just interesting. We haven't really had that for multiple classes in Hearthstone. Yeah, it's like um, 
Yeah, it, it's like you're trying to cheese your opponent as yeah. much as possible. Yeah, and there's some cheesy stuff that's happening. But I think the meta's good. And I do, but I do think after Worlds, they're not going to do anything before Worlds, but I think after Worlds, like the Tuesday or maybe Thursday after, we're going to see some balance changes. Yeah, I think so. But as for right now... I think I don't think we need it right now. I think we're, I think we're in a good spot right now. Yeah, I don't want to see a single change for like two weeks or something at least. So. So, but because this is content, let's quickly... What do you think is going to get changed? I think either Touch of the Net Regime, Rod. Yes. I think those are the primary targets. And then see, they're going to... I could see Backfire yeah. also in that. One of, one of those three cards I could see. Yeah. And then I think they're going to bump uh, Trog to two. So... Yeah, I think the I think Warlock's getting a change because Warlock, even Handlock, I'm sure I just haven't seen it is tier one. I'm sure it is a tier one deck. It's super good. Um, and I don't think they want Warlock to be the one of the best things to do. Um, so I think it depends if they want Owl around. If they don't, they'll just make Owl only hit minions. Yeah. But if they do, they're gonna hit like you said. Touch Touch could deal one heal four. Backfire could go to four. Uh, Rod could be deleted because I don't like that card. <laughs> no, but if they hit Rod, I think they make it. The card's drawn, or they boost. They bump it up to five before yeah. it cracks. Um, because, yeah, that would be kind of interesting. Yeah, I think they. I don't. I don't. I think if you make that card five, it is actually unplayable. But if you make it yeah. so you need to draw five cards before it procs, I think they could do that. Yeah, I actually kind of like that. And then you can do stuff with it. Like yeah. you could go backfire and tour guide and free tap and like you have to kind of yeah you have to do a little you have to build you have to to build it a little bit right yeah that's kind of cool um and then i do think trog is going to get hit trog's either going to go to two mana or it's going to only summon a one two copy not a straight up copy i like the copy version though so i i would kind of see it i i would like to see it like the the thing about cool cards is that I kind of want them to be cool after right. the nerfs as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would I would prefer it if they um, if they bump the cost instead. Yeah, I, I just kind of like it makes the coin. Yeah, I I don't know if they want the best play to be coin trog. You know, like that seems uh, eh. But uh, that's true. I, it depends, and I I don't think but I think besides that I don't know of any real outliers. I would love to see Scabs not do its thing, but I mean that's not even that offensive. Like it's those it's those two decks. Maybe something in Paladin, but I don't really know what they would hit in Paladin. Uh, I don't think they'll hit. I, think it, I don't think they'll hit a hero card unless a hero card was super offensive right away. So I don't think they'll hit a hero card. I'm just kind of going through. The, the yeah, maybe set. they buff the mage hero card. Maybe yeah, maybe they just make it say give your hero plus three spell damage for the rest of the game. Cast flow twice, baby. <laughs> Casting counter slow five times. Give your yeah. hero power plus five spell damage. Yep, you just hold it together with a refreshing spring water, and then you pop. People up. would lose their minds. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I think that's about it. I think this meta. I think, so too. I think this launch has been really good. Yeah, it's been a ton of fun, man. I'm excited to play now. Yeah, I'm excited to go play some more. Play some rogue, hopefully. Yeah. But uh, I'm gonna we're gonna wind it down here, Axel. I know we said your links in the description, but man, where can they find you? Yeah, just go to uh, YouTube, search Axel K, no space or anything, and then you're gonna find me. That's the channel name. I know I should have put like Hearthstone or something in there, but it's just Axel K. Uh, we're about to hit, like there's a little bit left. We are at like 930 subs, but we're getting close to 1K. Needs... I'm aiming for that at the end of the year. So he if needs... you see this and you're not subscribed, sub, a- baby. <laughs> Axel, can I get a, like a little drum roll going? Yeah. You know, many, you know how many more subs need to hit 1K? How many? 69. <gasps> oh. Nice. Nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah, 69, 69 people. Come and join me. We're doing... Uh, a lot of fun stuff. We're just posting uh, like mini deck guides on um, on YouTube, so it's good. People are hitting legend to the left and right. Sam, where can they find you? You can find me mainly uh, this channel, which you're watching right now. So thank you. Um, I'm also over at Twitter.com/slash Sam Sees Ghosts. I'm annoying. I don't know why people follow me. I really don't. But uh, I am making. I know they say this every time. I think, but I am actually putting out video besides this one on Friday. So 
look forward to that. It's going to be a little different than what I usually do and what Axel does. So hopefully the reception is good and we'll keep making content. I'm excited to get back into it. I have ideas. Also, because THL is starting back up, if I remember to hit the record button, getting competitive in Hearthstone is coming back. So it's going to be good. Excited. It's going to be really good. I just have to make sure I'm not a lazy person anymore. <laughs> But yeah, thanks, X, for hanging out, talking about this. I think we'll be back in a week or two. We'll figure out something to talk about, as we always do. Maybe we'll talk about control, aggro, and mid-range and combo and how no one's ever right about that stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I'm right about it, so that would be, a you heard it would it. be fun. Whatever Axel calls an <laughs> archetype is what it is, so. True. <laughs> All right, Axel, thanks for hanging out. Uh, thank you, man. Yeah, man. Be good, everybody. Peace. Peace.